Hi, aloha fifth graders. It's Mrs. Al Kane. I'm here this week checking in with you uh, regarding our distance learning offering for this week. Um, I'm going to move myself down here really quickly. I wanted to just go with an overview of how you can access some awesome resources to help you continue learning and growing, even if we're not physically at school. We can all stay connected here virtually. Um, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to our school's website, okay? And the website's kao.k12.hi.us. And on that site, you can access a variety of cool things, either on the parents page or the students page. For today, I'm clicking on the students page. Okay, um, here you can see some resources you can use. For by It's broken down by the different grade levels. And then in addition to grade level specific resources, there's some free resources that everyone can use, which is, um, I find fun just clicking through them. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click on your grade five link. And on that link, It'll bring you up, uh, there you go, it's coming up. All right, it'll bring up our grade five distance learning calendar and your teachers and the team, grade five team. You can see, I see Miss Funkhauser on it now. Actually, I see, I, miss, I think that's Miss Ohm. Um, they're actually on it right now, but we're here as well. Um, I'll let them know we're all here. Um, anyway, you can come down here and see that let's see does my clicker work hold on while i get my clicker okay here we go where my clicker is uh march 30th to april 3rd um it's broken down by ela and math and each day of the week they have um an idea of what you can do to help keep yourself busy and um so that you don't forget any anything that you've learned this school year um, we want to make sure that we, we stay connected. So all of us will have access. I know not all of you have it yet. Um, a learning packet that the office staff has um, worked hard putting together for you. So here on the links area, this resource, there'll be an ELA packet and a math learning packet. All right, so in this video right now, I'm gonna walk you through some math. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that link and it'll pull up a Black Lines practice book, Bridges in Mathematics by Martha Ruddle. This this should have been, been a part of your packet. Okay, so you wanna make sure if, if you got the packet that you pull this out so you can acquaint yourself with it. So if I had asked a question like, okay, so for today, guys, what do, what are, what were we supposed to be doing um, with math? What would you say? I can't really hear you, but I just wanted to pause because, yes, you should go to your grade five distance learning schedule. And that we found by going to the Kiao Elementary School homepage. We went on to students and we found our grade five tab. Okay, from there, they it pulled up our distance learning calendar for grade five. And for today, it said it's Monday, March 30th. We're gonna be doing math packet pages one through five. So we're looking at math packet pages one through five. Let me get back to the packet. And we're gonna scroll down. Sorry, hold on tight, don't get dizzy. We're scrolling down. Yes, guys, the answer key is attached. But with the learning, as you know, that we're doing in math, the right answer doesn't mean we really understand it. Um, so you can use the answer pages to go back and check your thinking. But remember, we, we're looking for much deeper understanding, okay? So when we look at pages one through five, 
Oh, it's a lot of multiplication. Okay, and division. So I prepared a short little um, interactive slides deck for you as you work through some of these um, practice questions. Some of you might um, be at different levels with building and understanding. So I thought today we could take some time to touch base together via this virtual um, video connection and explore our learning. Okay, I've lost my cursor. Here we go. Okay. So again, you're going to reference every day. You're going to go and check in on your distance learning calendar. Okay. I am Mrs. L. King. Although I'm not your homeroom teacher, I still want to help support you in your learning and growing. All right. I'm going to hide myself here. Okay. Things that you might want to have prepared for the next 20 minutes. A pencil or two. You're going to need some paper. Guys, anytime we're working on math, math problems, we want to make sure to have a piece of paper available to write out our thinking, sketch and model, um, or and solve problems. Uh, you are on your device or um, listening in at any time. You can pause this video and rewind if you're unclear. I can show you in a second another way you can stay connected with me to help support you and last but not least what we really want to make sure we have on is our math thinking caps um let's come through this next slide okay when we are looking at developing our math mindset um we want to really acknowledge that a lot of the time Okay, most of the time, when we are doing math problems, sometimes it's not that enjoyable, but it can get frustrating, right? I mean, problems, let's just say it again, math problems. Yes, you can get find yourself frustrated, you often will, but you can develop a math mindset, which is an important skill to have because, you know, we use math every day. And having a mind that understands what it will take to help solve problems and for problem solving is a really important skill. All right, so when we look at the math mindsets, you can see them here at the top. Uh, we can explore and read them together. I can solve problems without giving up. Okay, that's math practice number one. Say it with me. I know, I know. Even if I can't hear you, say it with me. Math practice number two. I can think about numbers in many ways. Okay. Math practice number three. I can explain my thinking and try to understand others. Okay. And in a second, I'm going to show you how we can stay um, supporting each other through this virtual time and collaborate. Okay. Um, Math practice number four, I can show my work in many ways. Math practice number five, I can use math tools and explain why I use them. Math practice number six, I can work carefully and check my work. That's the precision we're talking about, right? Um, Math practice number seven, I can use what I know to solve new problems. And math practice number eight, I can solve problems by looking for rules and patterns. Yes, 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 rules and patterns, very important. Um, okay, in the five pages you're gonna be working on today and tomorrow, okay? you're gonna be looking at multiplication and division. And these are related. Um, when something's multiplicative, it, you can talk about it using division words as well, okay? But when we're looking at um, our, our, our progress checks for what, we're, what you're doing in the packet, 
you're going to be looking at attending to precision by accurately calculating multiplication equations, division equations, and the, the number of digits that you're working with may vary. Okay, you are going to be looking at explaining the relationship of numbers when you're multiplying and dividing. And another one, I think it begins on page two using a grid. Okay, um, so you might look at like when we're talking about modeling or um, make, you know, create using a visual to explain your work, you're going to be asked to um, illustrate or model using a rectangular array or area model, um, multiplication or division computation. Okay, so to kick us off today, I wanted to just watch a video together from Khan Academy. Khan Academy is one of the resources that um, they have shared and one of the links on our website. Make sure you go back in and check it out. Uh, this is a good go-to, a good um, hub of all of these math videos that, um, you know, like if I have a question or I'm trying to help someone with homework and they have a question, we can come in here and search and a video explanation will come up that can help us um, solve some problems and refine our thinking when we think about math. Okay, So if you have a pencil and paper near you, uh, now um, if you don't have a pencil or paper, now is a good time to go and get one. You can take notes if you have to. For some of us, um, you're gonna, you might wanna watch this part of the video again. For others, this might just be a review, um, but sit tight, cause um, here we go. So we're looking at multiplying just a four digit by one digit, and you're gonna relate it um, and share with us or remind us about how we can show that using the area model, okay? Let's multiply six times 7,981. And the way we're going to do it right now is just to represent or expand out 7,981 as 7,000, 7,000 plus 900, plus 900, plus 80, plus 80, plus 1, plus 1. And so multiplying 6 times 7,981 is the same thing as multiplying 6 times 7,000 plus 6 times 900 plus 6 times 80 plus 6 times 1. You'd essentially distribute the 6. And to help us keep track of things, let me draw a little grid right over here. So this is the 6, and we're going to have to think about what 6 times 7,000 is, 6 times 900, 6 times 80, and 6 times 1. So I'll make a little square for a rectangle for each of them. All right, so I'm just pausing here just to, if you want to share out with someone or um, we see that he's, he's breaking it down into the expanded form and using what we know about place value to kind of draw out what looks like a bar model grid. Yeah, so let's keep watching. That. So here we go. And so we just need to think about what is six times 7,000? Well, six times seven is 42. So six times 7,000 is 42,000. Six times 900, well, once again, six times nine is 54. So six times 900 is 5,400. Six times 80, well, 80 is eight tens. So six times eight is 48. But since it's six times 80 or eight tens, this is going to be 48 tens or 480. And then finally, six times one, of course, is equal to is equal to six. So to find what this product is, we just have to take the sum of each of these numbers. What six times 7,000 is plus six times 900 plus six times 80 plus six times one. So let's do that right over here. So it's going to be 42,000 plus 5,400 plus 480, 480, plus six, plus six, and we get 
See, in the ones place, we just have a six. In the tens place, we just have an eight. In the hundreds place, four plus four is eight. In the thousands place, two plus five is seven. And then finally, in the ten thousands place, we still have a four. So we get 47,886. So this is equal to 47,886. And what I encourage you to do is to think about how this, this is really underlying what we're doing here. It's not that different than what you might have done with the traditional multiplication techniques. And this is a useful way of thinking about it because now you really understand what's going on. And actually, when you start doing things like this in your head, at least for, for myself, this is actually how I try to tackle the multiplication problem. If someone says, six times 7,981. If I was just looking at this and I didn't have any paper, I would say, okay, what's six times 7,000? I'd say, okay, that's 42,000. I'll try to remember that. What's six times 900? Well, that's 5,400. Well, if I add that to the 42,000, I get 47,400. Then what's six times eight? 480. have to add that to the 47,400 to get to 47,880. And then What's six times one? Well, that's six. We'll add that to the 47,880, which I've been keeping in my brain, and that's going to be 47,886. So this helps you understand what's really going on when you multiply multiple digits, and it's a useful technique for doing mental multiplication. Cool. Ah, thank you, Khan Academy man. I know it's now, um, they're trying to go on to another video. I'm going to pause seven. it. As you can see on the left side here of my screen, um, in Khan Academy, you can search up different topic areas that you need support in, and it kind of presents a little learning progression, a progression of different videos to help build your understanding. So for the, with the video we just watched, some of you might have um, might need to watch it again, some of you are ready maybe to go on to this next one a little bit more um, um, intense here with two digit by two digit multiplication and showing the area model there. Um, but you can go ahead and browse through that. Again, the links um, are on our shared uh, Keao Elementary School site. They're all they're embedded in free resources and other things that you can use to um, help you continue to learn and grow each day. All right, so in addition to working on your packet, if we go to slide number seven, okay, I try to create, I'm gonna move me out of the way over here. I try to create a little like a work choice board for you to access this week and this distance learning thing is quite new for many of us. So we're trying to explore and see what works best for all of you, provide some feedback. But as you're working this week on your packet, um, I wanted to put together a few things that you could use to jump on um, digitally to help enhance just the workbook. Um, there's an Ed Puzzle. And in the explain section, it's asking you to think about what does it really mean to multiply? What does it mean to um, divide? So I want you to think of what you would say in your own words when you think about the concept of multiplication and then the concept of division. And you can record your feedback here. Um, under where it says feedback and reflection. You want to click on that link and it'll take us to a little hub. And it's um, one second as it pulls up here. Clicking, click. Can you open for me? There we go. All right belly breathing a little oh, okay multiplication and division so you could put your name and um, tag any questions um, you're going to tag your response to in your own words what is multiplication what is division um, if you have questions this is the this is how we can stay connected um, and i can try to respond 
to any questions you have, but I want to challenge y'all fifth graders. If a, if a student asks a question or needs some support and you can help them, um, provide that here in the response section. Okay, guys, be appropriate with the conversations and responses. We are going to have this open and um, I will be able to check in with you. Okay, so um, a tech reminder again, when we're on our Google, same thing, even if you are at, at home on your own device, whatever's done on our school, like docs or links, um, we do monitor, okay? So be mindful um, with your conversation. Thanks, guys. Um, okay, back to the interactive grid. There's a few other things that you can do. These are all links that you can click on. Um, one's called Factorize. Um, it's a cool way to um, do interactive modeling. Um, ah, will you open? Having a hard time with my my pointer. Okay, so um, this kind of helps us visualize um, multiplication, and and because multiplication is related to division, right? So you could click on um, um, to find a like to get a new number, but it, um, it's just this find the factorizations of the number 12. So 12, could it be 12? Could it be itself? Oh. Oops. Sorry, guys. Could it be four? Uh-oh. I'm not too sure why it's not letting me. Hold on, let's get a new number. Let's try and I keep what I'm doing is I'm pressing the tab button and it's kind of taking me down um, to another page. Not too sure why it is not allowing me to get to the other box. But I need to enter. Okay. And then I need to go to the other box. Oh, let me try. Nope. Okay. Okay, 10. I'm not too sure why it, it, it let me draw it out, but I wanted to show 10 and 3. But it didn't let me enter it. And it's still, it's still, let's try this. 10 times 3. Ah, problem solved. <laughs> Okay, okay, figured it out, figured it out. So we're, we're doing the um, equations, all right? So we're, we're showing, it's saying, guys, oh, there's another way you can do it. What's another way we can do it? Um, let's try the, is it gonna let us do the reciprocal? Ah, we are, okay, so it doesn't recognize that, but we can try another one if you said, huh. Okay, and so we can continue on, but it's going to show us the actual area model. And um, we can explore um, modeling using the area model this way. Okay, so that's something that you can check out. So I think I made all the mistakes I had to, so you don't have to make any more when you get here. But um, if you come stumped with something using factorization, you can come back to our feedback support stage and you can contact me this way. So, hey, I'm having trouble figuring out factorization and I want to use it. Okay, and then I can maybe, I'll email you and keep in touch that way. So keep that, um, math practice feedback and reflection sheet available okay another thing that we can um explore 
for extra practice. Um, in addition to your work packet is the I know it multiplication and division practice. And so let's check out this link. It's just, it's kind of like IXL, but you, this year we didn't have IXL. So, um, oops. We can explore that. There we go. Yeah. And this little, I don't know what this guy is, but he's in his pink bunny house slippers. So, four times eight. Uh-huh. Oh, I need to, okay, so I, I have to fill in each box. And it's kind of, it's looking at fact families. All right, so if, in my head, guys, if I get the first one and I'm attending to precision, precision and I'm accurate, and I can see multiplication and division, I if I can, if I can get that fact family, I can get it. I can get everything here. Hmm. I'm just going to double check it, make sure it's accurate. What do you guys think? Am I missing something or does it look good? Give me a thumbs up if it looks good. Mm -hmm. Let's just try. Let's try it. Okay. But at this stage, like we say with, with anything math, like I, I don't want to be guessing and checking. I really want to attend to precision and make sure I'm confident in my response. But let's go and submit. Ah, cool. All right. And then there's a variety of different ways we're going to explore fact families and that relationship between multiplication and division. So you can check it out. Um, and then lastly, um, well, there's the Ed Puzzle, and I embedded a few questions, I think. But there's PolyUp. I think I've shared with you some of these machines. Um, there's different um, different uh, games that you can play here, and you can decide. So looking at multiplication and division, you might be ready for a little bit more. Um, you can decide where you want to start, but let, let's just, uh, we'll start here. And it'll give us a code for a machine that I can check out. And it takes a little while to load. But once Polly comes on, you can click on the, the light bulb and then you can go right to that machine. Okay, so everything in the light bulb is what they want you to get to using the operations, the operator, and whatever numbers that they're they're giving you. So for now I'm just gonna let me just show you how this thing works. So, Polly went in, okay, so we need two blocks as an input, okay. Multiply by 10, 100, or 1,000. So it's 235. How can I get to 200 and 23, I'm sorry, 23,500 from 235. How can I get to 23,500? And I'm looking up here, I'm multiplying by 10, 100, or 1,000. So I'm thinking it's got to be one of those three. Which one? What do you think? Okay, so you're thinking 100, okay? So I'm going to, I need to put in another block. So I need to key in the block 100, okay? Oops, where's my block 100? Let's figure this out. Enter. Not, oh, do I take it? I take it out and I stack it. Okay, let's try to run the machine now. 
Ta ta da! All right, the poly up machines. Okay, have fun exploring the different machines there. All right, and any time that you want to provide some feedback, you have a question, um, feel free to use our feedback and reflection sheet. Happy learning, fifth graders. We miss you very much, but I'm happy you're home, staying safe and sound. Again, if you don't have your math packet, but you have access to this tech, go ahead and start exploring some math. Go back to your, your sheet that fifth grade has put together. Um, check your weekly schedules. Look for linked resources. Reach out and contact um, your teacher if you have any questions throughout the week as you work. All right, fifth, malama pono, stay safe, and I will see you again. Ahui ho.